Hi, this is Chris from RoboSprout. I just wanted to go over a quick review of these IDC connectors here, the Gadgeteers on the Smoothie Board V2. Uh, we chose to use these because there's a Gadgeteer standard, which probably is now abandoned, but um, which has a pinout that you know gives you the SPI and the I squared C and everything else uh, in a certain format, which is kind of nice. And every one of them has a three th volt, uh, three point three volt, a five volt, a ground, and then seven. Uh, GPIO, which are possibly GPIO. Some of them are ADC, some of them have hardware on them like I squared C and such, but um, most of that's graphed out. But today I'm hooking them up and I'm actually using them for a different kind of project, running uh, pick and place feeders off of it using the switch module. But I thought I would like to go over a simple way to crimp these for our users. Now, um, the way these are supposed to work is you put the wire in and then uh, you just basically uh, the pin you orient it to pin one for the polarity and then you crimp it down uh, now the problem is you can't use a normal standard uh, just flush cut or I mean sorry uh, flat nose uh, needle nose because when you do you end up with like damage usually like that to the connector so it doesn't really crimp right um, what I found was the best bet was either use a cheap vise which worked fine you just need something that presses parallel um, if you have that laying around that works fine now online there are some crimpers that work um, I found these parallel jaw pliers here are the best to use because they actually just go exactly flat and they have some nylon things and for the price they're definitely worth it to have around uh, and they do really well they didn't damage it because they are nylon so uh, these are kind of neat they were on Amazon they're beadsmith or whatever and then there's another pair I got which are the same type but they're normally closed they're not spring open so these were, and they're also metal jaw. These also worked fine. They did the same type of crimp. Didn't do any damage, but they're metal. So, uh, you know, it's up to you. And also, like I said, they, they stay closed as opposed to staying open uh, with the springs. So both of these are available on Amazon. They're fairly cheap. Like I said, they're Beadsmith. They're pretty nice. They're definitely worth it. The little vice is just a cheapo Harbor Freight one. I wouldn't use that necessarily, but the actual crimpers for these connectors, if you look them up, are very, very expensive. I actually laughed pretty hard when I saw the price. So if you want to go that route, you always can. Now, after that's done, I'm basically, I'm hooking up um, multiple connectors here to go to this breakout board, which is just, you know, has all the pinouts with the headers that go out to a parallel converter, which this, these parallel plugs connect in to the pick and place right here on the side. And that gives you extra feeders, you know, or capability of accessing the feeders. And every one of those pins has a 20 millisecond low pulse for a feeder. So there's 30 different pins or 32 actually for 32 feeders. Uh, I'm only going to be running 30. So what I'm doing is I'm going from these pins into the smoothie board by way of, you know, the gadgeteer headers with the converter. And then they just connect in pretty nicely like that. And then from there, I'm doing a switch module with uh, if the pin's triggered, it sends a G-code. It echoes out to the serial port, which is actually on a Gadgeteer header also. And it's going to go specifically straight to here. And I'm actually wiring, I'm bypassing the USB on the uh, Arduino Nano, every board that this, they have on here. And then this board converts and sends a bunch of different serial ports and sends out the signals to the, uh, the Siemens Schultz feeders. Uh, they're triple lane, eight millimeter. So I'll be able to, with 10 of these plugs here, I'll be able to run uh, 30 feeders.